Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 10th of January, we've got some new mods and we've got some updates to the Zator Major AT by Pushcap, the 114G and 124G series by Nazif Modding, Eric Isaac and Agro Mods, the Lizard Maverick X3 times 3 by Senior Vertex and the Flegel GRS Volume Shovel Pack by Maxter have all had updates. I'm doing these in a slightly different order to how they are in the mod hub today just because of the way they kind of laid out a little bit. This is the um, watering cans pack by JMZ, 0 0.24 megabytes download. They're one slot each, that one's 50 litres, that one's 80 litres. Now these are very, very peculiar. Um, you don't pick them up. I think the scale might be a little bit off on that one. You'll see why in a moment. But when you come up to them, you enter the vehicle and it's a trailer. But when you first go into it, that's the view you get and it's kind of on the floor so you start the engine and you drive it which seems a bit odd until you go to external view and then that seems more sensible like you're you're carrying a watering can um you can fill it up i filled it up from the buy anything silo so if you're putting into i don't know greenhouses or whatever you want to use your watering can for you absolutely can it's just, it's just a very curious thing something a bit different it does say turn on trailer I'm not sure what that does um, but if we stop engine and exit the vehicle and go to the next one you'll see what I mean the scale on that seems a little bit off um, but anyway that's the 80 litre one so you've got a plastic and you've got a metal one if we go over to uh, let's put cruise control on let's cruise on over with our watering can There we go. We can start overloading. That's quite good, isn't it? Look at that. It doesn't give you the option to tip or anything like that. You're just overloading, but it's you know, you've got a little spray animation, which is pretty cool, isn't it? So if you're doing greenhouses and things like that, you absolutely can. Uh, this you will find under tools and miscellaneous. I'll say this, these. The plastic one's 20, the metal one's 30. Um, slot counts were... I don't know what the slot counts were on these. They were one each anyway. Yeah. So, uh, pretty cool. There's something a bit different. I don't know, it's just a little bit odd, aren't they? Anyway, that's the watering cans by JMZ. Uh, next, we have got the Husqvarna S2800 by Kashtan18. 1.01 megabytes download. There's two in this pack. We've got a new one and we've got an old one. We've got a new one. Looks like that. Old one. Looks like that. The new one is 400 pounds, euros or dollars. And the uh, old one is a 100. So if you don't mind having a an older one. Why won't this let me... There we go. Operates like a chainsaw, lightsaber, bow saw, all the various different ones we've got in game. This you'll find, let's put that away and that away, under chainsaws. There we go. As I said, 400 for the new one, 100 for the uh, older looking one. There's no options within those, you just buy it and you get it. That's the Husqvarna S2800 by Kashtan. 18. Next we've got, just over here, the Mudguard by Agri Design Modding. 2.98 megabytes download, two slots. Um, designed for whatever vehicle you want to put it on. Uh, it's a three-point link mounted, so the only downside with this is um, that when you hook it up, you can hook up trailers between it, depending on what hitch you've got, but you can't hook up anything three-point link mounted because it hooks onto the three-point link. 
which is yeah it's the only downside to it so if you're looking from for some um extensions i just wonder if i can put it around the other i don't think it's designed to go around the other way just looking at it uh the pictures of it no it's designed to go that way now when i was going to install this to select it as a mod i was looking all over the place and i couldn't find it under uh, mudguard it was under bib so if you're looking for it and you can't find where it is um but this you'll find again i think we're in nope in here and i think this was miscellaneous as well there you go the bavette bib mod 750 slot count of two comes down to one which can change the main color which changes the framework like that so if we hook up i mean it looks pretty it looks really cool when it's hooked up got a little bit of movement Nice bit of animation on that, which is rather cool. But as you'll see, if we go to our cedar, for example, we can't hook up to a three-point link because we're using it. But like I say, we'll hook up with trailers and stuff like that. So if you want some extra mud guards and you're doing trailer work, if it's particularly muddy where you are, you might want the mud guard slash bib by Agri Design Modding next just here we've got this this is the old wood sheds by maxter featuring gsi flash there are four in this pack it's 9.28 megabytes download there's six slots each the two on the end have got um, solar panels photovoltaic cells on the roof they will earn you 2400 per calendar month so you've got a standard version here three bay or well, three entryways i mean say bays i suppose it is technically lighting And then we've got the same one, but with a silage clamp. Now, the silage clamp at the moment, I've got about, yeah, 214, just under 215,000 litres in there. And looking at it from the side on and to the front, you might get 250 maybe. The only downside is because the roof goes this way, if you've got a trailer that tips up, when you get to this point, it doesn't like it too much. Um, and you've got enough room to get a tractor or something up there and over the top. For compacting, there's plenty of room up here. Maybe you get a bit more in, maybe 260. I don't know if you get 300 litres in, 300, 300,000 litres in there. Um, and then you've got the ones with the um, solar panels on the roof. Same shed, just with solar panels, and uh, they'll just earn you a bit of extra money. And again, with a um, silage clamp, if you wish. These you'll find under build mode and sheds. So 46,500 for, the, um, for these two. And the slot counts come down to one from six each. So regardless whether you have it open or you have it with the silage clamp, it's still 46,500. If you go for the ones with the solar panels, they're 70,500. Oh, that's actually interesting. Ah, oh, I wonder why that is. That's 46,500. That's 46,500 with the silage clamp. With the solar panels on the roof, that one's 70,500. And with the silage clamp, that one's 75,500. Curious. I'm just going to check this one. Let's go and try and place it. 46,500. Hmm. But anyway, yeah. Lighting on all four. Like so. That's the old wood sheds by Maxter featuring GSI Flash. Next, we've got the small cow shed, which is just here. Lovely detailing on this one. Uh, this is by Leo Leo. It is 47.95 megabytes download, 31 slots on console, 50,000 to buy, and it will hold 15 cows. As I said, nicely detailed, nicely weathered. Milk point is at the front here. We open this gate. Nice tiled milk room with lighting and a cow's head mounted on the wall. <laughs> That's good timing. Oh, that's something I was going to say about those those as well. Um, these bays, when I put the um, chaff in, no um, seeping, what's the word I normally use? Um, there's nothing coming through the sides. So, yeah, it's all good. Totally enclosed. Just seeing the cow's head coming through the wall just reminded me of that. Um, at the front here, we open up our bay. This is where your feed and your bedding goes in. This is This is really nicely detailed, this. With the brickwork and the cobbled floor. It looks absolutely fantastic. Lighting here as well. 
No, the dialogue box, the, although the trigger is there, as you can see, if we come to here, it's coming up, animal dialogue box. Here, animal dialogue box. But actually, if you come right in front of where the actual disc is, it doesn't come up. So you need to come sort of to the left of it, or just inside the door here, and you can open the, the, the dialogue box and put your animals in and out. Slurry point is just there. That gate does open into this way as well. And then we do have a hayloft. What is cool is the ladder is not fixed in place, so we can move the ladder across. Drop that there. Open the gate. And we can go up into the hayloft, he says. There we go. It's little details like that. Look at that. That's very cool. Put the ladder back. I don't want to put it directly against there we go. That's better. So this you'll find under build mode, under animals. 50,000, as I said, slot count will come down from 31 to 2. 15 cows. In the small cow shed by Leo Leo. Uh, next. It's time to saddle up, people. This is the John Deere Saddle Tanks by EY Modding. 2.52 megabytes download. Two slots each, 2,000 litres. Now, these have required mods that come with them. All three tractor packs that these work with are also by EY Modding. There's the 4020, 4010, 4000, 4320 pack. There's the 4320 or the John Deere A, which is this one here. So when you choose the saddle tank, you choose which one of those tractors you want it to go with. What is very cool about this, I, I really like this. Um, you've got 1,000 litres each side. You can put in it seed, solid fertilizer, or liquid fertilizer. One will take seed, one will take solid fertilizer or liquid fertilizer. Um, which I think is, is brilliant. So if you are doing seeding, small tractor work, you might have a slightly larger field, and you might have a small seeder on the back with a small tank, That's it, it just makes such a big difference. It's very clever. Uh, if we hop on here, start this up. If I detach, it does that and that. Although, as you can see, it did sort of swing them around a little bit. But this is the one for the John Deere A. When we hook them up, on they go. Now, these ones are empty at the moment, but we can open covers. Open the first cover, which opens that tank. Second cover opens that tank. Close it. Boom. Job done. Turn the engine off. Now, this one, I've got a 1,000 litres of seed in one side. 1,000 litres of fertiliser in the other side. The same thing, we can detach them, put them down, go off to what we want to do, go on our merry way. But when we're ready to do our seeding and stuff, hook them up, and off we go. Now these were, where did I write these, this down? I just, that's written, it's mint. Very cool. Uh, these were under cedars. Um, I thought they might be under miscellaneous or something like that, but you'll find them under cedars. Which threw me, because immediately I thought, well, this is going to be a liquid fertiliser tank, isn't it? So I looked under sprayers, I looked under fertiliser spreaders, but no, it's in here. And as you can see at the bottom, seed, fertiliser, liquid fertiliser, these will take. And then you choose. You've got the John Deere 4755, you've got the 4020, 4320 sort of pack, and then you've got the John Deere A. So you pick which one you want it to go with and it will work. I haven't tried mixing and matching them to see if they'll work with, with each other's, but... I mean, to be fair, you just choose it in here. And if you get the wrong one, just get a toolbox or go to your workshop, wherever it is, and just switch it over. No problem at all. Very cool indeed. The John Deere Saddle Tanks by EY Modding. Next, we've got this, and this is a representative of the pack just here. This is the John Deere Bale Spear Pack by Basic Modding. 2.65 megabytes download. The slot counts are 2, 2, 1, and 2. You'll see momentarily. These you will find under front load of tools. So we start with the AB11G. That one there has a large top spike, small bottom spike. That one has two bottom spikes. We do have the option to put a top spike on all three the same size. That one has the large top spike, too small at the bottom. So for square bales and stuff like that, if you don't want them spinning round or rotating. Round bales aren't as bad because you can get it sort of right in the centre, but that would work better for square bale work. And then we've got this one here as well. Well, I mean, just anything you like really, it hasn't got to be. Uh, too large at the top, too small at the bottom. As I said, 
two slots, two slots, one slot, two slots. And I think I went for that one with the spike on the top. But there you go. I mean, there's not much else you can show on that. They're battle spikes. Awesome. The John Deere Bale Spike Bale Spear Pack by Basic Modding. Next we have got Excalibur. Handed to me from a lady in a lake. Not quite. This is 6.74 megabytes download, five slots on console by Farm Sim World FS Modding. Now this is under low loaders, but it's more like a, it's a step deck because it doesn't have rear ramps. Um, but this is a I mean, it's massive, massive trailer, as you can see. Straps all the way along, including the upper deck there as well. So for manual loading of... It's not an auto load, so manual loading of whatever you want to put on it. There are plenty of mods out there for ramps, and there's um, cargo loading stations and bays and stuff like that. So as far as pulling vehicles up to a ramp or next to whatever you want to do there are ramp packs there's all sorts of stuff so for loading vehicles onto these you can do it if you want to depending on where you're loading or unloading from or to this you'll find under low loaders just there on the end we've got the option for main color anything on that palette rim color we've got a polished metal or a chrome and we've got some metallics across the top there or a standard flat colour, whichever you'd rather go for. Those are your options. I will jump in, start this up. So you can see on the back, the lights, indicators. Straps from the cab or manually from outside. This doesn't extend, open out or anything like that. Like I said, there's no option for ramps or anything like that. But it is a big old trailer. Big old trailer. Don't think it's got rear steer, has it? No. Just a big old trailer. Very nice indeed. That's Excalibur by Farm Sim World FS Modding. Next, we've got the Pavelli Rat Pack. R-A-T Pack. I keep thinking Pavelli in Wales. I don't know why, but Pavelli. This is the Pavelli R-A-T Pack by DD Mod Passion. 12.31 megabytes download. What's impressive with these? One slot. That's all. One slot for the first one anyway. Um, we've got the option of um, uh, a low loader, blanked, a low loader version, which is what this one is. As you can see, we've got the final mod on this, the low loader version, or an auto load bale trailer. Now, I'm going to get the mod up because there are a list of configurations and amounts of bales. If you go for the smallest bale size, 1.25 meter, it'll do 52 round bales. If you go for the 1.5 meter bales, it'll do 42. 1.8, it'll do 38. That's in round bales. It'll do 32 square bales. It'll do 24 big square bales. That's Heston's. It doesn't say, I don't think it'll do cotton bales or anything like that. But those are the bales it'll do. But what is very cool, it doesn't put them in the stack. It puts them on the sides. And I was going to say something about the only problem with that being, but I don't need to. You'll see what why, and I'll say what I was going to say. Um, but you will find these either... Under bale loaders, because they are four bales, so there you go. 30 grand as well, which is not too expensive at all. Uh, slot count was one anyway, so sort of kind of irrelevant. Or you'll find it under low loaders. Now, either one, you can pick the whatever options you want. So there you go, under low loaders. So you've got the low loader option, or you've got bale loader. If you go under bale loaders, it will have bale loaders first, then the option for low loaders, but either way, you can pick. So... If you've gone for your low loader, that's fine, as is. Bale loaders, again, be careful when you come down here. Make sure your loading mo mode, if you want it auto-loading, auto-stacking, you want to put it on auto. <laughs> I didn't. I got the first one, got all the bales, drove up. I thought, I don't understand why this isn't working. I've got the bale version. I just hadn't put it on auto. Um, so, you know, be careful. You've got it on the right one. So options on this there are quite a few different options within continental but you can't get any closer in in the in the shop menu than there so it's quite difficult to see but we've got two four fives and i think four different options or three then two six fives and three different options under there if we go to trilleborg we just got that bkt just that and then we're back to continental again then we've got under brands color you've got pavelli 
You've got Case, Class, Deutz, Fent, Second Fent, JCB, John Deere, Kubota, Landini, Massey, McCormick, New Holland, Steyer, Valtra, Zator, Black, back to Pavelli. Again, you've got the option there. You've got beacons flashing or rotating. You've got rear lights, design one, two, and three. We've got name. Now, this is numbers, and it's at the front of the frame. It's numbers one through nine. And if we go back the other way, we've got the alphabet, the entire alphabet, A through Z. Z. Uh, we've then got attacher type, K80. So you've got a ball hitch or pin hitch option, depending on which you'd rather have. Air hose spiral or not spiral. Tension belts orange or yellow. We've got type of license plate. It will either be the map or Italian, whichever you'd rather have. If you've gone for the license plate on there as an option, there you go, Italian on the back there. Or the map, and then you choose it. Hub color. So depending on what you've gone for, if you've chosen a different um, option for the uh, color, if you've gone for McCormick or whatever like that, if you go to hub color, you can then go through and you, it's got all the different options for the different companies, so you can change your hub color to match up with whichever one you've gone for. Uh, then you've got rim color option with a chrome, a white, or a black, as well as the silver that you start with. And then we've got a license plate option on there as well. So. I will show you this one first. Now, what's very cool about this? If we put this into start charging, it will start to load on the 52 bales that we've got because they've gone for the smallest size. So I'll put all 52 on there. Maybe, if I get them, there we go. There's our 52 bales. Now, as with always with these things, I can drive around quite happily like that. If I unload bales and unload here, They've now got weight, mass, I can strap them down, all good to go. If you don't unload onto the trailer, when you do the straps, the straps go underneath them. So that's just something to be aware of. So, take the straps off. I will put me into transport position and then start charging again. Let's reload them. That's, I was worried that was going to happen. It does it sometimes with trailers, but not always. Right, so when it comes to unloading, unload bales. If I press triangle, I can go L1, right stick side to side. Does that and that forwards and backwards or up and down does that I can't go any further forward than the tractor but I can come further back which is great if I go R1 right stick up and down right stick side to side does that which is great now the problem you've got is if I put these down the ground now uh, with that and put them down like that if I unload now they're gonna go all over the place this, this is just not gonna it's not gonna be great if I go L1 R1 and I do right stick side to side, I can tilt the whole lot over like that. And then bring them down to the ground. I, don't, I think I've got under that as well. Have I got the option for tilt as well? I can't remember now. That was rotate that way. I'm trying to think what it was. That, that. I've got the swing side to side as well. So we've got, we've got a whole lot of options. If I do that and then bring them right down to the ground and then unload, they will unload in the stack like that. So you won't get them going all over the place. That's a brilliant feature. I know a few different trailers have got that. You've got the option to rotate them all the way over. Um, so from going from having them all piled up the other way around, you can unload them flat so they don't go everywhere and become an absolute nightmare to deal with. like that feature a lot. Um, if we go to our... Low loader, we've got full trailer, I'm sure that goes a little bit further up, there we go, it will do that, tension straps, I've gone for the yellow ones on this, I had orange ones on the other one, now it does give you all the other options on there for everything for unloading bail configuration, what's that thing I didn't show you as well, I'll show you on this one, but on the other one you've got the option as well, Depending on what bale size you want to do, you need to pick it. So under bale configuration there, top left, you've got bale configuration, uh, 130, 150, 180, square, and back again. So you've got your options there. But you've also got all the options, extend crane arm, all the stuff. That's for unloading bales. There we go. Ramp down, straps off, engine off. And there you go. That's the Pavelli RAT pack by DD Mod Passion, which brings you on to the last mods for today. We do have a map as well, actually. 
Uh, I won't be able to go into that till tomorrow. But it's new Enviro Farm by Nato Play. So I'll go into that tomorrow. But the final mod for today, the Case IH Maxim series by Cypher. 21.66 megabytes download, 29 slots on console. Very nice looking beastie. Let's turn this on. There's no doors or windows or anything that open on this. Horn. Lights. Beacons. Depends what option you've gone for. As you can see, it's got a forestry frame on it. That is one of the options. It doesn't come automatically like this. Interior. Nicely detailed. Extra mirrors in there as well. Very nice indeed. So this you'll find under small tractors. That one just there. Slot count will come down from 29 to 2. Options on this, we've got 145 horsepower, 155 horsepower, 169 and 175 horsepower. We've then got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitus, BKT, Vredstein, Nokian and back. Two or three of these have got the options for narrows. Um, the ones that are sort of, is it BKT and Mitus that are normally the ones that have wides, not say wides only, but some have got the option for narrows, some haven't. Um, you'll see as we go through. I'm not going to read them all out, but under Trelleborg, we have got Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Freudstein, Nokian, and back to Trelleborg. We've got rear fender, we've got standard, or we've got a big extension. Interior, we've got standard, we've got dark grey, we've got bougie beige, and we've got black. Actually, I do quite like the black. It might probably be quite dark and oppressive. That's nice. I do like that. Uh, window tint, standard, light, medium, dark. We've got exhaust grid, standard or chromed. We've got beacon lights, standard. Rotating big, strobe LED, strobe LED white. Back to standard. Accessories, we've got standard. We've got roof bar. We've got hella lights on there. Or back to standard again. Decals, we've got standard or off. You can take the decals off. I'm trying to think of any other ones we've come across that do that. We've got extras, standard or forestry cage. I'm going to leave that on because we've got an option for that in a moment. We've got front loader attacher, hower or no. Main colour, anything on this palette. So we've got case it's red, and then we've got this custom shiny red. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a colour and a matte in each of these. You've got black, and then a black matte. You've got white, and a white matte, which is almost a light silver, really. Uh, you've got custom army green, a dark green, and a green matte on there as well. You've then got forestry cage colour. Again, you can pick from all those different options in there as well to change the forestry cage colour. Rim outline, so you can change your rim colour around the outside of it if you want to. Then you've got the rim itself. Actually, that looks pretty good. I like the look of that. And we've got a license plate option there as well. Are those are your options. You've heard it running. You've seen me drive it. Did I do the horn? That's the horn. I do like those hella lights on the front of that as well. They're hella good. <clears throat> You're welcome. And that's it for the mods for Wednesday the 10th of January. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.